So this is them just playing here because I still think she's in uh, pro estrus. This is like our second, our third day of us letting them do this. This is opposed to a breeding stand or holding her or taping her up. Now I just want you guys to know, please know your dogs because I know my female and my male and there's no way on the face of the planet that these two dogs would play like this if she was not in pro estrus. She was not in the beginning stages of her heat. She's not really in her uh, estrus yet, which means the peak where her uh, progesterone would be high. She's close. That's why she's letting him do that. And she's playing because she would not be flirty. Maple is not flirty whatsoever. She does not play. She doesn't care if it's a male. She has zero tolerance. She has complete dog aggression. So... She's a real pit bull. That's the way they are. And you have to get to know your dogs. So when I see her flirty and I see her accepting him like this and Zephyr, this isn't his first rodeo. So he knows exactly how to play with her and, you know, when to be a little dominant, when to kind of ease up. So he's, he's doing what a good stud dog is going to do. I think it's a little early. I'm just kind of, this is them dating. Um, she's almost ready. You could tell she's flagging a little, see her tail, see her tail there, where she's throwing it to the side and he's uh, back there. They're checking each other out, getting to know each other because they are never together. Pictures that you've seen with them, you will never see them, unless she was a puppy under a year. But after about a year, there's no way I can leave them together like this. Um, and any picture that you've seen of them is them both with leashes and on collars. So I have one of them, my son has the other. That's just the way it goes with these two. They, they see each other, see he'll, he'll mount her, he's testing her, and she's playing with them, she's being flirty. She's, I mean, this is complete out of character for her. And it's good, it's in character because she's in proestis, but it's out of character for her typical um, way of being. See, she's flagging there. See, that throws to the side, that's a good thing. But there's still, I think he's the perfect progesterone uh, test because he'll tell me, he'll know when she's absolutely ready and I'll know. And there's another portion of this um, way that you could test it too is she has to be lubricated, not, not lubricated with something external. She has to be internally lubricated and I tested it today. And if you don't want to see that, you know, get off the video because the next little part of it. I'm going to show you what I did that with the glove and it's normal. You have to do that. You have to penetrate her softly with your pinky because it's the smallest finger just to test how it went in. And she's about 75% lubricated. So you want the natural lubrication. That's her body telling the male that it's time and she's ready. All right, guys, I'll show you that other little clip in a second. But please know your dogs before you attempt. Come out here before you attempt to have them loose like this, if you know that one of the two dogs has a, a serious constitution about them and they're non-tolerant, she's like that. Zero tolerance with any other dog. Doesn't matter if she's known Zephyr since she was a puppy. If she was not in heat, they would never be playing loose like this. So be safe, okay, so you don't have an accident in your hands. I'm still cautious. I'm still walking around with a breaking stick and a leash and I've got my chains ready to go to separate them just in case because I know my dogs. So, all right, like always, know them, love them, and raise them responsibly. Stay tuned for the other little clip where um, there won't be any talking. Well, I might talk over it just so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the portion of this video where I'm going to just test how lubricated she is um, naturally. Um, you wanna be gentle with the dog, wear your glove, don't force anything. So I call her and I put her on me, you know, not forcing anything, just kind of holding her, move the tail to the side and try to get it in that way. Just really nice, real soft. See the pinky, don't use your big fingers or anything. Just use your pinky, she's a little nutty. Try to fight me on it, it's all right. Just let her hang over and just softly put it in. Easy, easy, just like testing, okay? So at this point, I, I figured that, yeah, she's only, I would say about 75% lubricated, no more than that. When she is in her peak estrus or her peak progesterone, 
you will know that. It'll slip right in, and she will be super lubricated on that. So, no, no. All right, guys. I hope this video was informative, and don't go spend tons of money on progesterone tests, especially if you have the luxury of having the male there with you, and you can you know, put them together for different sessions every day until it works. Be patient. Don't force anything. Know them, love them, and raise them responsibly.